Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Um, I got this idea from Mad Cat Sphere. I'm basically using a chrome, thermal chrome piece of film, kind of like what you might use to take a picture with uh, in the old days, like Kodak. Um, so you touch it and then it registers your heat. So the middle of my thumb is very hot comparatively to the rest of it. You can see the green is around the edge and then there's yellow and then there's red. So that gives you an idea that um, that red is the next coldest then it's yellow is warmer, then it's green, and then it's red for the or blue for this for this particular sheet. So the idea is to come at it from the top and the bottom and from the sides. And then work on generating heat from a distance. And this is training. Training to eventually, I think this is kind of beginning training before you even get to like the receipts. But the idea is thermal energy. You're projecting your thermal energy. Um, And you'll do that with like your aura. So this is me not touching it, I'm just underneath it. You can also do the thing, you can also be above it and extend your energy downwards. But like I said, this is, this is the beginning stages. If you can't do this, then doing, then you might not even want to try with the receipt because you just get frustrated, right? The idea is to, just like you did with tin foil, where you you started very small, very easy, and you worked your way up to bigger and bigger things. It's the same thing you want to do when practicing thermal manipulation. Try not to become too obsessed about this. Just, you know, practice every day. I'm touching it now, but... Now the heater is on. One thing you might want to do is just imagine like a bright spot of light, like the sun shining on it. It's hot. 
Um, another thing that you can do is you can You see how that, how it's quivering? Just like the way it was with water. So now I'm beginning to project my heat in this one area that I'm looking at. Part of that is playing with the chi. goes. Okay, you can see the color difference. The idea is to get it to go from red to yellow to green. Where you're focusing. And then green to blue. So one thing you can imagine is that your um, you can imagine that there's a fire underneath it. And that fire it's licking it's licking, you know, past it. Um you can imagine that there's the sun beating down on it. You can imagine um, that your own body heat is beginning to extend, right? And you can mess with your own aura. So where it's quivering, I'm trying to change that color to green. Oh, so it went to yellow. something that helps with this is to do that idea of the 3d uh, the 2d picture so like if you were to take a frame right like a frame of a picture and the inside is hollowed out um, what you'd see when you placed it up against something is that everything in the foreground the background and the middle middle ground all looks like it's superimposed on one plane. You see that? Now it's turning green. Now you can argue that this is because the heater has been on for a while. But I've done this without the heater being on. It definitely helps with the heater because it keeps reaffirming that 
the air temperature is hot and the, there's air and you can direct that air all right so you can do you can direct it where you want want it so right now I'm doing a combination of several things one is I'm looking at it as if it's water looking at the reflection I'm also imagining stroking um, the film and imagining what that feels like and then I'm imagining um, that as I'm looking at it I'm seeing it and it's right up against my forehead and I'm imagining that my forehead um, has like a flame inside of it and so as it touches the flame the heat of the flame is transferred to the film now I've also gotten it to where the inside has gotten hot to where this has changed color and the outside remained black um, so this is just something that you have to keep practicing to get a feeling for, right? Even though I practice with air, there are times when, as I'm practicing, uh, I don't feel quite connected. Or I get the res I get opposite results. Like I want it to go left, but it goes right. I want it to turn, but it turns this way. Or I want it to come forward and it goes like that. I want it to. I want it to quiver and it doesn't do anything. So different things.